hike to the top of Evergreen Cemetery. Oh, yeah. And you'll see this monument, a tribute to Sasana Loft, a Mohawk woman from Canada, buried here. It overlooks the village of Owego and the Susquehanna River and all the surrounding areas. You couldn't find a prettier spot. By birth, daughter of the forest, by adoption, a child of God. That inscription refers to Sasana and her siblings' conversion to Christianity. It was missionary work that would bring them through the village of Owego in February 1852. They decided that they would like to uh, raise money to buy books and transfer the, lang transfer the language into Mohawk language for the Mohawk children. Sasana, Sister Yagawea, and Brother Rakwaho toured as a musical act to raise the funds. That's Sasana in the middle. They gave two concerts in Owego. Before heading down the railroad tracks to the next tour stop, Deposit. It was the next day on their way back that disaster struck. A freight train way up on a hill eight miles away, and it, the engineer lost control of it. Barreling towards the parked train at the station where Sasana and her sister were already on board, their brother still back at the ticket booth. There was an alarm given. They yelled, get off the train. Yagawea made it to safety. But when Sasana tried to follow. Between two cars, the freight train hit that. And when it did, it jerked her back. Killed instantly. One of three dead in the crash. Word got back immediately to Owego. The community arranged her funeral. Newspapers from around the region mourning the loss. When she was killed, I think everybody along the whole train route just sympathized, you know, they just thought, well, well how shocking and how sad. Rockwaho would write about his grief in a letter to home, saying, We are so troubled in mind that we do not know how to express ourselves. Sasana was buried here, her family unable to transport her back to Canada. The monument was put in place three years later, in 1855. From that day on, uh, it's just been part of our history. The writing is wearing off, so a plaque was installed to make sure that history isn't lost. And you can see visitors are still leaving gifts for Sasana 167 years later. But to this day, this is what we do, and uh, we try to take care of the cemetery and try to take care of her monument. A life cut short, but never forgotten. The Mohawk maiden still stands tall over the valley. In Owego, for Fox 40 News, I'm Amy Hogan.